Welcome to day three of the Accessibility Challenge. Today's topic, the difference between a heading and emphasized text. Digital accessibility is about the design of our web-based materials, like Canvas courses. But it's not just about how things look on the surface. It's also about the underlying code. The information in each of the 10-day accessibility challenges helps you ensure the content is accessible, both visibly and underneath. We use the Rich Content Editor, or RCE, to edit in Canvas. There are many options available to format your text. Learning when and why to make a formatting choice is part of accessibility. Today's topic focuses on better understanding the difference between formatting text using features like bold and font size versus creating a heading using paragraph and heading styles. In day one and two, we learned that headings create the structure for our pages. When we use the drop-down paragraph format menu to designate a heading level, we see the formatted text on the page. This is called a WYSIWYG editor. What you see is what you get. But there is also another feature of the Canvas editor, the HTML editor, which allows us to see the underlying code. When we designate a heading, the code looks like this. These brackets surround the code, called an HTML tag, that denotes a heading level. This one is heading level two. When students use assistive technology, the software they are using reads the HTML. If we don't create our headings correctly, the software simply doesn't work. The tags the software is looking for are missing. Which leads us to the last part of our lesson on headings. Headings should be short and clear and focused on the main points and subpoints. We shouldn't make a full sentence a heading. In fact, if your heading is too long, it's an accessibility error. Keep your heading brief, under 120 characters. And if you have some text, a quote or a pithy comment that is not a heading, but you want to emphasize the text, by all means, make it big and bold. You can even change the alignment to make it center stage. So what's our takeaway? While they look similar on the surface, there's an important difference between formatted text and headings. Show the students who need accessible text that you care and be sure to make the right formatting choices for your headings. Okay, that's all for headings. Learning together is the key to our success. So we'll see you tomorrow for the next installation of the 10-Day Accessibility Challenge.